welcome to another episode today with the producers, directors and writers of Common Ground and previously Kiss the Ground. Welcome, Rebecca and Josh. I think the consciousness of the audience or people was right at a tipping point when the movie hit. And part of that tipping point was COVID. You know, everyone was locked inside. Uh, people watched Tiger King and they were like, now what? But the reality is folks did start to put together the pieces of why are we as a global population sick? Why are we as a global population dealing with chronic disease? Certainly in the West, 60% of grownups have some kind of chronic disease that is in some way, shape or form related to the food we eat. So, you know, when they saw a movie that had to do with soil, food, health, and climate while they're stuck inside going, gosh, I hope I don't get COVID. Uh, it kind of had this moment of connecting the dots for people. And all of a sudden, sickness or health was not a consequence of random factors, but largely a consequence of soil. Then, right at the moment that we finally had the film and we were all excited about it and we were going to premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival on Earth Day with Giselle Bundchen and Woody Harrelson and all of our people, you know, all of a sudden this little virus started popping up in the news. We thought, well, there's no way that they'll shut down New York. There's no way. And then sure enough, a few weeks later, everything was shut down and, you know, it presented a real problem. And fortunately... Um, the timing of it, it couldn't have been better in the, at the end of the day in hindsight. So you just never know. Sometimes these challenges that seem impossible turn into the most perfect opportunities for something to blossom. And that's what happened with Kiss the Ground. Common Ground really, it's the nexus of where climate, food, and health meet. If you look at that, you could go, well, this is an intractable problem. Humanity's on a disaster course. There's nothing you can do. Forget it. Just, you know, get a corporate job and, and don't do anything. But then you're like, no, this is so simple. The, the, the solution is as elegant as the problem. It's, you know, demand-based consumer action. It's top-down change in large corporations. And it's moving levers of power whether that's at a, a national level, a state level, or a civic level, at a town level, 